Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Never Solis 4 as we continue our Quing game. And I caught a glimpse of a couple of uh, interesting uh, things at the end of the previous episode. One, Japan. They are Catholic now. So, Japan I uh, is Catholic. Korea became independent. Uh, however, I'm not concerned for that little province there and I won't be. Uh, and they actually released a little something here, so I'm really, really tempted to just go and grab an explorer, strap them on on these on this guy, and actually see what what's up there. So we'll do that. So let's grab an explorer, just for a bit. This will take a little bit of time, but yeah, there we go. Now I got it. I can just go and kill it. I just got what I wanted. You can die now. Well, actually, what happened to the leader? Did I actually kill off the leader? Apparently I did. Good to know. Okay, good thing that I actually intended to do that, otherwise I would be pissed. Yeah, that was a change. I do believe so. So, let's patrol in the Canton Trade Node. I do believe that's where my ships are most necessary, although in Beijing they also are, but... Oh well. Uh, Beijing buildings, road network, that's built. I need Diplotech 16 to do that. Trade power. Yeah, that would help. Let's get... Well, who am I kidding? It's always this one. So yeah, we are now making a tiny little bit of gold. Need a little bit more. And I did build a whole lot of buildings. So, game plan, 78. That's when I will actually fight Langsheng, isn't that correct? Yep, September, so it's about here. After I take care of these guys, I'll actually try to take care of those guys as well. I need to kill Bazai. I would prefer to actually vassalize them in one war, just fully annex them in one war, but if it's not possible, then it is not possible. Also, this is getting cored. Spain has a mission to get into uh, India, if I'm not mistaken. Spain and England. Decadence. Really? Okay. We just got out of war, but... Okay. General died. Oh, that was the great one. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to re-roll the uh, two generals, though. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay. A little bit better. Not too bad. I prefer the pips to be in shock and fire and not in maneuver. Yeah, right now the pips in maneuver don't really matter un unless you want to cross the rivers. But even if you cross the river, it's only a minus one opposed to a shock and fire that for each one that they have, it's a plus one. So yeah, right now I would definitely prefer shock and Fire. Oh, always I would prefer shock and, and fire. But oh well. Okay, let's get that conversion done. And what else? 500 gold already. Okay. Let's continue building the forts then. Well, it's been done. You need a one more. Kiranga, you're done. And up here, you need a whole lot more. Actually, I would want to build that one first, but meh. You are building it already. I need forts, though, the to protect against Russia. Hey, they will help. They will help. Vassalize Ming. I still have that. <laughs> Good to know. I would, I would really like to get 50 uh, power projection. So we'll fight Russia, too. That's for sure. Oh. You can put the Timis in. Oh, then. That changes everything. Fabricate claim. Ngari. Even if it's only one province, I'll take it. Take one province each time. Yeah. Boost up my power projection. Actually go to the place where I kill off the Timmies. That seems like a plan. Pamanis should also be eligible to be a, a, a rival. And Baluchistan, by the like, by the looks of it. However, if you really, yeah, maybe not. How many provinces do I have? Not counting vassals, of course. 
203 provinces. Uh huh. Bengal, sure. Yeah, I'll fight Timmy's and Bamani's in that war. That's interesting. And I can actually fabricate a claim on Bamani's now. Yep, good talk. Oh, wait, I need to wrap up the war with Bengal. I need to go there first. And speaking of war with Bengal, continue to fabricate claims. I need claims. And I need to seal off this. So we'll start with that one. And I need to support rolls and stop that. Are you still there? Thought you were discovered a long time ago. Okay, so one more month and we will have uh, Pegu integrated. Finally. There we go, integrating Pegu. Yeah. There. Okay, level 2 guy, I'll take you. My uh, rep is in shambles, but... Yeah, overextension, so I do have a little bit of overextension. That's the only one, okay, good. Uh, force limit, am I above? Yeah. I'll keep the artillery. So where did I send those guys? Over there. And I'll fill off all of these. And that should bring me below, yep, by one, good. I thought I probably doesn't like me that much anymore. However, Langshang, let's fight. I wanted to finish integrating Pegu before I actually declared war. Sure, uh, we'll start with that one. We'll go for that one. There. Go and fight, my pretties. Go and fight. There, there. Not yet, did you actually claim? No, you didn't claim this one yet. That's unfortunate. I thought you did get the arrival. No. What are your claims? Only those two. I thought three provinces. Okay. Yeah, I know I have this one. That's yours, but no, not really. What is the tolerance looking like nowadays? Since I have such a low legitimacy. Two point eight. It's not bad. Totomac. Okay. So apparently Portugal is actually fighting in the Mexico. That's okay. Siege up. I'm not going to do a damn thing to help you. I'm going to keep on doing the claims and fight the Timmies. We'll go there after this one, I think. So claim. Still have it. Cannot fabricate any more, which is a shame. Uh, Bengal, who are you allied with? Can I bypass your alliances? Darkan and Delhi. Nope, not yet. Shakatai actually has provinces here. I'm really tempted to just fabricate a claim here. Reduce the amount of uh, provinces that Russia can get. But meh. 36 aggressive expansion, you might actually start a coalition soon. Really, a level 2 guy. I need level 3 guys. Land maintenance modifier, minus 10%. More cash. 43 goals, 32. Okay, so conquest against Bengal. Let's continue the claims. So, I did fabricate a claim here. Yep. Now, up next is Sunder something. Sunder bands. Let's get it done. Fabricate two, then stop. It's probably good enough of a plan. I wonder, should I give you this? This one will, will go to Ayutthaya. Actually, this is their capital, so cannot expand up top. You will take pretty much everything down there. I thought, yeah, alright, so this is yours. Indeed. Portugal on Malacca. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Don't even. Don't even. Well, if you do that, you know what's coming. A war with Portugal. Come here, sure. They will not be able to take all of this, though. And Malacca has a pretty darn big fleet. Not as big as Portugal, I'm betting, but Por Malacca, 21 heavies. Yeah. But even if they do, I'm hoping that they will take some province around here. Because if they do, or even that, or this. Because if they do, uh, I'm just going to kill them. Just going to declare for the reconquest of that. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to actually release the nation entirely. And I wanted to take one province and then release it. Steadily and surely. But unfortunately, that was not to be. Okay, so this is an Iathian claim. Guess what, Iathia? And that's yours as well. I don't want Garrix. We'll take that though. Uh, is it? Yeah. Continue to stack up and we'll have early frigates next. Apparently peasants are a thing in Vietnam now. And apparently I'll have a revolt. So let's continue the conversions. And where? Sun Yat Sun. There. Grab you, move you there. Bump up the maintenance. 3 4 gold per turn. Yeah, per month. That's fine. We are going to crush them. Team is with Moulton. And that's fine. Dis uh, a little bit more discoveries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's merge these guys. Will you get there already? Crush them. Crush, crush, crush. Go. See. Okay, so they have the same amount of things that I do, however. Crushed. Uh, let's reduce a little bit the maintenance. You'll have to reinforce all of 6,000 men, apparently. Yep, because that's the thing. Okay, let's help out in the idea. I think you are going there, aren't you? Yep, apparently you're not. How are my colonies going? You are almost done. Good. And you... Yeah. It'll take forever to get there. The Honest Booker. Level 2 Commandant. Well, honestly, I would prefer the Commandant, but I would prefer level 3 one. Even though I already have enough military points to just... Yeah. Keep on building then. If I have that, let's go for armories. Let's see. 33, we'll build it where there's a 33. 33, 33. Oh, that's a 25. There, 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 there. And before I forget... I need to build this one here. Yep. Look at Oirat with 25,000 troops. Probably have a, a, a little bit more, but not that much. Russia, truces all over the place. Truce with Austria. That's wonderful. Austria and France. So you were actually butting heads. Commonwealth. Allied with France. Now you're talking. Good. So Russia, if you want to tank with Commonwealth, you have to pay those guys. And yeah. Self-sustaining. Great news. Let's continue. Let's get there. What's the mission? East Tunguksta. Damn. It's been there for how long now? It's 
Exclaimant. Yeah. And let's send my colonist there. Wrap up that one. And you just go there. There is something down on that side. And this is a piece of land. So I have a, l a little bit of something to do. Uh, no. Oh, that was done though. That was quick. This is occupied by a jumper. You fools. You fools. Well, if that's the case, then guess what? This will be Daiviet. Jump is actually sieging that one. So, well, I guess I'll peace out then. On that, that, and that. Return cores to Khmer. Nope. Revoke cores. Nope. Release nations. Yeah. Next up, I'll be able to vassalize them. And that would be lovely. Give me gold, give me war reparations, and... Well, what else? That's it. Send a demand. Malika. Yeah, you're fine. Good news. War with a lot of people, but... It doesn't matter if they don't join. Or if don't they don't get here. Or if they can't land. One of the reasons why I'm really tempted to just... Well... There's a little boost there. Well, why will I bump up my maintenance? Okay, so 489. I still have to build that building there. For the goods produced plus 50%. And of course that will increase the amount of inflation that I'm getting each year, but... Eh. Who's keeping count? Okay, so let's get that one built. Uh, let's see the ports. Five, five. This one still needs. However, this will be 150 gold. And that's five. Okay, good. Let's go to Beijing. Beijing. I know, but... We have 14 tanks. Get that one built. You do produce grain, though. A little bit of a shame. A little bit of a waste. A little bit of a waste. Okay. Uh, you. This will go next. Manpower modifier plus 50%. And land force limit plus 2 will give me a real nice... Yeah, this is one of the reasons. Create a fortress. Okay. Uh, let's get that. Why I wa what I was concerned with that. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Colonize Manila. Let's do it. Uh, I was concerned because, well, I thought that I should have a little bit more uh, settler chance. And I kind of forgot that I didn't get the colonial enthusiasm. So that's why we were getting those troubles. Japan on Korea Reconquest. I knew. I cannot fabricate a claim on you though. I would have to do something else. Well, if uh, peasants pop up, which I doubt, yeah, really doubt, I'll do something, but other than that, we'll need to wait. Oh, and by the way, why are you not patrolling? And get in. Okay, so Langshang, you lose the war against Champa. I would really like if they've yet actually fabricated a claim on Champa. However, they cannot. Well, right now they can. They have a claim there and a claim here. Ayutthaya. Still calling that. If I were to integrate you. Well, I can't see. Colonize Manila. Okay. Uh, incorporate Ayutthaya. Create a fortress. Crush Timis. We'll go for the Crush Timis. Because I definitely need to do something about that. So let's recall. There we go. Savage is killed. And let's send my settler there. 
my colonists there. Uh, we'll be fighting against the Timis now. Uh, Bamanis, Malwa, and Kashmir. Bamanis, Malwa, Kashmir. There. Not that concerning. Let's take a look at the armies though before I commit. Let's go and fight the Timis. Timurids, 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 Timurids. There we go. 43,000, no manpower. Bamanis. Fifty-one thousand, no manpower. Malwa. Thirteen thousand, no manpower. Yep. Okay, so what we will do is, drum roll, please, do that. I will call in no one as a full ally. I could call in this guy. Uh, really? Ottomans, what's your what's your manpower? Ottomans. 81,000. You have 39 mercs. Who the hell are you fighting? You have the most mercs. Austria has no manpower though. The Knights and Austria. Okay, that kind of explains it. Yeah, you want to fight against the Knights for uh, Austria. Yeah, Aus Austria is the defender of the Catholic faith. Did you... Are you going to win the Siege of Vienna. Oh, I would pay to see that, actually. Are you winning, Ottomans? Yep, they are. However, they still haven't taken the uh, war goal, so... Who knows? Actually, they are winning. 41. Oh, trade war. Okay. Good to know. Okay, guys, I will put a cut and I will actually end the uh, session for now. Uh, this is what we have. We are in 1682, about 140 years to go. And this is what we have. I consider this to be a downright victory. So we'll have to need to fight against uh, Russia. We will fight against the Timis next and all that good stuff. Uh, but that will be for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have, please do leave a like, it really helps the channel out a lot. And until next time, do take care, and goodbye.